Installing an in betweeny window is a lot like installing an innie or an outie, only it is in between. Ben cuts back the high performance weather barrier. He chooses the martini glass shape. Not because he's a fan of classic cocktails, but because he's going to use the WRB for jam flashing in the next video. He measures in from the outside to snap a line indicating the inside of the window. He slices the outer corner of the WRB so that he can tuck the flashing membrane under. Which he then cuts, about 8 inches longer than the opening. Then he gets ready to peel and stick the peel and stick. The back side of this sill membrane has three release strips. So we start by taking the small one to use it as a positioning strip. The second strip covers the window sill and the last one wraps the corner. Before you pull any of it off, you get your membrane in position. And I like to see about four inches turned up on either end. So I only pull off as much as I need to apply it. Because as soon as this stuff sticks, it sticks. So use a little squeegee to get your corners nice. These tapes are pressure sensitive and they must be tooled when applied. The corners are stuck to the line that he snapped a few frames back. Tighten the corner with a squeegee and then pull off the rest of the backing paper and chuck it on the floor. He rolls this first strip with a J roller. Removing the middle strip of backing is more touchy. You can see right here, you want to get yourself pulled back so that you're beyond that corner because if you're like this and you go to pull the release paper off, oftentimes it'll kink and tear right there and then you're trying to chase a little edge to get it peeled back. It becomes a nightmare. And the sun's on us so this stuff is getting super duper sticky. Gonna let it relax into the corner. Zen and the art of window flashing. I have to force it. Once it's stuck, it's stuck. No second chances. Squeegee the corner, pull out the rest of the release paper, and break out the roller buggy. The final strip of membrane will bend around the corners. Peel off the release paper, being careful not to tear it in the process. Bend the membrane around the corner, but don't get too carried away. Ben points out that whenever you stretch a material, you thin it, and this is not a place where thinner is better. Just about like that is perfect. Break out the roller buggy again. Vroom, vroom. Now, Ben is ready to flash the jams and head before setting the window in the middle of this thick, thick wall. 